This 200 watt panel by All Powers really changed my mind on folding panels. Let's talk about it. This is the All Powers 200 watt folding panel. It's a quad folding panel. Let's talk about some of the specs. So it is a 12 volt panel, 22 volts open circuit, 12 amps open current, whatever. <laughs> Realistically, it's 18 volts and 11 amps. It has MC4 connectors on it. It comes with maybe about five or six adapters, as you can see here. It also comes with a nice MC4 to Anderson cable. Those things have been clutch for me in other situations. It also comes with an MC4 to 5521. Interesting choice. I wonder about the wire gauge on that one because this one is a 10 amp panel. 5521 doesn't have the greatest track record with 10 amps of power but i'm sure they thought about how much power this thing is going to push through that cable but i just want you to know that and it also came with a very weird weird downright weird mc4 to battery clamp cable i found a dope way to use it i'll talk about that in a second quad fold panels i mean they suck in my opinion as far as deploying i'll kind of give you an example of what i mean if you wanted to be in a situation where you're popping all of these legs out it's kind of tough because it's four panels now i i typically put two out and look that's what happens <laughs> I don't know if I'm a rookie out here in these streets or what. I think I had better luck coming behind it and setting them up. So we do the two middle ones. We'll come and do the left leg and then we'll come and do the far right leg. Now, I did a video on the All Powers 100. That one was a bifold. Those legs were really skimpy. These legs are a little beefier, a little bit thicker, a little bit wider cardboard. Um, they do have some reinforcement in the middle of that, so that's pretty cool. MC4 to battery clamp. MPPT charge controller that is not connected to this panel, but this is how it would work. I could plug that panel directly into here, 200 watts, 150 watts, 145 watts, connect it to that cable. It wouldn't work perfectly because that's Anderson, but this goes right to the battery that's pretty cool that they put that in there i think that it's dope i'm gonna keep it real all powers has some of the best <laughs> accessories that i've really valued over those two panels they're nice it has a full zippered pouch some other panels that i've looked at they only had a half zip so it fully opens this is the only thing that comes out of it which is the mc4 connector all your other cables would be seated in here and that's it this dip is waterproof i have left it out in the rain multiple times um, angled a certain way or laying flat on the ground so the rain couldn't kind of get into this because I don't know how waterproof this is. Typically some panels have little junction boxes back here. This one does not. I think lending more to its waterproof designation. I think it's an IP65. Now on the front here we have these little plastic clips that you have to pop in. They're not my favorite. I like the more squeeze clamps but anything is better than Velcro. In my opinion Velcro doesn't suck. It's just it gets annoying pulling it apart. That's the form factor when it's folded up, which also lends itself to why I, this has kind of changed my mind on quad folding panels, 200 watt panels, and so on and so forth. The reason why I'm not a fan of folding panels is the fact that they can't necessarily be left out in the elements. They are a temporarily <laughs> deployable solution, hands down. I also don't be out in the woods and stuff like that. Y'all know that I'm a homeowner who's into solar. I'm not an adventurer and all that jazz. This particular one is really cool because it's in the same form factor as about a 100 watt bifold panel, right? I'm a fan of those. I don't particularly like quadfold panels. The thing that I like about this one, when you deal with this 200 watts of solar, is I have a lot of power stations that max out at 100 watts. And with this, you can take this dip, throw it out, lay it flat. Don't even worry about putting the legs up and it's gonna get you about 100 watts. I think that that's dope. That's kind of like game changing for me as an optional panel to throw out there and get some power. Because I have my rigid panels, those are my workhorses. This is just bonus power. Now, I do have the EB3A, which can take in about 160. So I do angle it sometimes for that. But I like the fact that I have this option, 200 watts ground deploy in the summer is a great one um, where I could get this power. Just to be clear about that, it's because in the summer, the sun is overhead. So you don't have to worry about the angle. You could flat deploy and profit 
for the majority of your Sunday. Now this dip does have some uh, holes on here for hanging. There's about three on each side. One on the end, one in the middle, one on the end. Same thing on the opposite side. I do want to say that this is PET. It is not ETFE. I tried to get them to send me the ETFE version of this one, but they didn't have the promotions going on that particular panel. So they sent this one. And this one is also more budget friendly, which is important. I also do want to point out that I personally am not a fan of like panels that flop kind of in the middle. And this one is doing that. It's not crazy considering that I keep it basically leaned up against something or lying flat. But because it's so tall, they almost can't help it. You know I mean, it's just a, it's a tall, floppy panel. <laughs> now let's look at some quick ground deploy numbers on a winter day <laughs> with a flat deploy. That's what we're looking at right there. Um, not perfect sun, but it's pretty decent. I don't see any really like crazy haze or anything like that. End of the day, evening, winter sun on the horizon, getting about 42 watts. I'm gonna try angling it, getting the angle pretty decent and see what we get then. Then I have some other footage I took from another day that I'll put out here. This is what we're looking at now. Now there are some power lines uh, that could be casting a little bit of a whatever on here. So it's not ideal, but it's a real world situation. That should roughly double, right? 117 is what I'm seeing. 117 from this panel. It is right now probably about 435. That's end of the day sun right there. 117. I'm good with that. Now, this is the setup I have right here. The sun is right there, just above the tree line. And this is how much power I'm getting in 141 watts. I was getting a little more a few moments ago, <laughs> but that's what it settled in at. So, 141 watts. I didn't do the can trick because I'm not necessarily super concerned about perfection. More concerned about real world. That's angled pretty decently. So that's what I went with. Now I don't know what this is going to prove. But let's throw a little raggedy box in front of one of these panels and see if it still performs. Like how much does it drop by? Does it drop by half? Does it drop by 25%? Let's check it out. Yeah, we got more power lines on the panel. Let's check the power output now. It is 105. I'm sure you can't see that. 107. Let's throw a uh, joint in front of one of these panels. The joint has been dropped. It has dropped by, dropped down to 80%. So that seems to me like it went down by a quarter, right? So maybe those panels are wired in parallel in some capacity. Let's put it in the, the middle of two and see if it stays at 80 these two on the left okay it dropped down to 55 that's interesting i don't know how to deduce that stuff <laughs> i don't know how to make sense of it i wonder what's going to happen when i put it in the middle so let's do that okay that didn't affect it much at all it stayed at 55 so it seems like maybe all of those panels are in some type of weird parallel i don't know what to conclude those who are smarter than me let me know what we should conclude from that half output if something's blocking two of the panels, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm cool with that. I feel like in a situation where it was series, you got a joint blocking both of those panels. Um, you probably be looking at like eight or ten. So works for me. I wanted to elaborate a little more on how this thing has changed my mind on folding panels as it relates to 200 watts. 200 watts basically in a quad fold body frame is it's more worth it to me getting out here, taking my portable panel, putting it out and being able to get 100 plus watts on a ground deploy temporarily. I just think that that's dope. Me being able to drag a panel outside to get 60 watts, 70 watts, 75 watts. Some panels are beastier than that, but that's about what I've come to expect. It's kind of not worth it. I have the X-Star, which is a nice panel. I also have the big blue, which is, I think, my favorite panel to ground deploy. It's just cool bifold panel. This particular panel having all of that power potential. Dang, my fingers bleed. This particular panel having all of that power potential being deployed, it's, it's changing my mind on folding panels. It makes me think very uh, fondly on what if I could ground deploy one of those Blue Eddy 350 watt panels. I just feel like that's kind of dope. The EcoFlow has a 400. To be able to lay that thing out in the yard flat and get like 200, 250 watts, how crazy is that? 
that's just crazy. Again, I'm not a dude that's into folding panels, but the potential for that is bananas to me. These panels are typically $2 a watt. All Powers typically comes in cheaper than that. So that's something you have to consider. It's a PET panel, but they do have an ETFE panel. It's a lot more expensive, kind of like the Blue Eddy SP200. But to ground deploy a folding panel, when I'm used to my 320 watt rigid panel just being a fixture in my yard, is it's pretty dope if you need power you're one of those people who kind of needs power temporarily it's something to really consider these folding panels but y'all know that and i mean for home people i'm not talking about for van dwellers and people on the go like to have a temporarily deployable portable panel i think it's worth considering now if 200 watts isn't your joint that's not the move it's too costly all powers does have a 100 watt panel that i liked as well you could check that video out right here Ooh.